Welcome back. Welcome to fall. I want this to be a very fall filled vlog that's just got like all the cozy feel good vibes that we're all obsessed with about this season. I feel like autumn has just been flying by. I can't believe it's Halloween week now already. And so I just really want to like slow down, do some very fall specific things and savor the season because I feel like time blows past all of us because we're all just so busy all the time and so I just want to like slow down and savor the season a little bit with you guys this week. I'm just gonna make a couple stops and see what we can find. First stop we're going to Lowe's and it's already boating very well. So they have some adorably ugly pumpkins. I love ugly pumpkins. It's pumpkin carving night. So excited. Actually, we're not carving. We are just decorating. Um, I already did my Cinderella jack-o'-lantern as you hopefully saw in my other video, but we still wanted to have like a special night to do some pumpkin decorating at home. I've got the mister here. <laughs> so time to let our creativity soar with Halloween spirit. You ready to let your creativity soar? Yes. So we have our supplies set up and you'll see soon enough what we're planning to do and we are going to watch on TV if I can get it. Yes. The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Status update. Mine's already looking really cute. <laughs> Nate helped me draw the face on and I've been helping him paint his pumpkin gray. Because it has to be Batman gray, right, babe? Yeah, but you still see some orange through it, but what are you going to do? He's getting really into it, guys. <laughs> He's deep in it. Oh, boy. <laughs> We've got Charlie Brown on the Look TV. At this sadness. Oh, boy. You be careful with that now. Mm hmm. So that's the status. See, every time you rub it, it gets more orange. I think you should let the first coat dry. Yeah. It looks cool, though. <laughs> The bat is going in. She's a genius. I didn't know to use a rubber mallet. He wanted this, is... this fool wanted to get out a drill and nails and all sorts of stuff. I'm like, just rubber whack mallet. it. Whack it. If it turns out you just take a, if you have one of these dealies, you just take yep. a rubber mallet and they go right in. <laughs> Pumpkins are soft. It's weird. Oh, you're deadly with that thing. I feel like Thor. You are like Thor, babe. <laughs> the pumpkins are done and I think they are officially us in pumpkin form. What do you think, yes. babe? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think she needs a beauty mark, babe. Do you okay. want to do the honors? Oof. No think... pressure. Just don't ruin my whole pumpkin. You think right here? <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. I yes. love her even more now. So she's fabulous. She's clearly doing the Ula and Rikson face mask. So that's our little pumpkin couple. And no carbon, no and, muss, yeah. no fuss. A little bit of muss. A little bit of muss. A little, little muss. Fuss. A little <laughs> fuss. Well worth it. Happy Halloween from our pumpkins to yours. Good morning. It's time for a festive fall mug. Today I chose the pumpkin. This one's from, I think, Pier One. And it just makes me feel very cozy on a fall morning. I'm saying good morning to our adorable jack-o'-lanterns. They turned out so good. I love them. <laughs> they are totally like our personalities. I just love them. So, cheers. Good morning. So I just got my fall manicure. It's a lot darker than I normally go for, so I feel very festive for Halloween, I guess. It's like kind of a blood red, like an ox blood. Um, the exact color, I'll try to link it down below, it's called, it's the C&D brand of gel polish and it's called Strawberry Wine. And I also did a coffin shape on the nails and I usually do like an almond, like a rounded almond shape. So <laughs> every time I look down at my hands, I'll be very much in the fall spirit, in the Halloween spirit with these claws. 
another fall morning, another fall mug. This one looks like, I guess like a peanut. <laughs> it has Chip and Dale on both sides, so I think it's a fall mug. It's like very autumnal. And of course, always lighting candles all day, every day. Nothing brings coziness like the scent of this pumpkin chai. So good morning. I'm just about to treat myself to a really cozy fall lunch. I don't usually eat in front of the TV, but I thought while I had lunch, I'd watch a little bit of this classic Halloween slash Christmas movie. And I have such a good fall meal. Like I love a warm bowl of soup in the fall and it actually really is cold and blustery here in LA. So I feel like it's extra warranted. This is like a Thai style carrot and sweet potato soup with some yummy additions. So it's really healthy and like nourishing and just a cozy fall meal. But I got the recipe from my AAY um, like healthy eating plan that you guys know I do. So, and I have some crackers on the side. This is a little pumpkin Mickey topper from Disneyland and it lights up. So I'm just gonna have such a fall little meal here with myself and watch some Nightmare Before Christmas. I am going to meet some friends for a coffee date, which for some reason just feels like a very fall activity, even though we literally have coffee dates all year round. But it just sounds really cozy to get like maybe a chai latte or a hot tea. And it is like kind of sweater weather here. It was in like the 50s this morning and I think tonight it's gonna get down to the 50s again. So cozy, happy to have some time, happy to get something warm to drink. And I'm um, just trying to really like savor the slower moments this week because I've had really busy work days still, but I'm like, okay, time to slow down. I'm done for the evening and I just wanna like be in the moment and enjoy. So cozy fall vibes, guys. It's time for one of my absolute all time favorite fall traditions, which is to go to the pumpkin patch on a little date with my honey. So excited, I drag him every year in matching outfits. <laughs> He's a very good sport, obviously. Here's my outfit. I have this dress that I always wear every single year when we go to the pumpkin patch. It's like my pumpkin patch dress because it matches a flannel shirt that Nate has perfectly. So that's what I always go for. But I'm wearing this hat, which is actually from Amazon. Just a fedora style, like perfect camel color. So I'll link this. The dress is really old from Target, like three years maybe. I've been making us wear these same exact outfits for a long time, but I accessorize it differently each year. So that's the hat. And I have this belt because it's really oversized. I don't know if you can see, I get it like extra, extra, I think it's an extra large because I wanted as much length as I could get because I am six feet tall. So I like my dresses like a long, a little bit longer. And I wouldn't mind if this was even longer, but it's nice because the back is longer. So it gives you some extra coverage, but it's just, you know, like that dress style, that shirt style dress. And I have some like bicycle shorts on under it because it's really windy outside. So if I need the coverage, it's there. And then I'm wearing these boots, which are from Target. They are fabulous. They're like suede, perfect color of camel. They're a little bit higher heel than I would personally like, but maybe that's good for you. I don't know. But anyway, I just think this is like a perfect fall outfit. It looks really cute with Nate's matching shirt. So I'm so excited for our date. We're almost to the pumpkin patch. Time for the fall festivities to truly begin. And I'm hoping they have like a hay ride or some other fall activities, but I don't know for sure. All I know is I got my sexy lumberjack here. Say hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> we made it to the patch. Lots of pumpkins. Cuties. Look at all the babies. They're so cute. He's so calm. He likes you. I hope so. So cute. Hey friend. Fall romance in the air. I brought my own chick. <laughs> I thought we could go on a tractor or a hay ride here, but I now realize that these are miniature tractors <laughs> for toddlers, not for grown adults. Whoops. We finally just got home. It's actually really late. We did a bunch of errands. 
But it's funny because we were running errands and I kept forgetting that we were dressed like this, like matching twins. I know. And everywhere we went, people were like, oh, you guys are so cute. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> and I didn't even think about the fact that we are dressed really like work this. Here. I just realized I hadn't had a chance to show you my Joann's haul yet. I got all of this super chunky yarn, so soft, to make a chunky knitted blanket. If you saw, that was on my fall bucket list, so I'm excited to do some knitting. I love to knit, but I like never do it, so I'm a little bit rusty. But I got five skeins of this big yarn, and hopefully that'll be enough. I thought I could knit a blanket to maybe replace this blanket at the foot of our bed in here. So hopefully that color will look good in here. And then also, I guess I'm just in a blanket mood because I also got two stretches of fleece. And this was just a really pretty red buffalo pattern for like a Christmas blanket. And then look how adorable this is. I couldn't believe they had like no Halloween fabric, but except for this one, which might be the best one because it's um, Charlie Brown. Halloween. I just thought this was really fun with all the bright oranges and all the characters from Peanuts on here. So I'm just going to make blankets out of these two things and it's ridiculously easy to make blankets out of fleece because it doesn't fray. Tis the night before Halloween and all through the house not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. But this is the cozy, cozy scene in here right now. We've got our Halloween mugs. Cheers. Thank you, honey. Cheers. Very good hand model, Nathaniel. <laughs> and we got the candles all lit and the twinkly lights all on and the Charlie Brown pumpkin blanket, which is so soft and comfy. Oh, and there's another little mouse. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, the doggies love these fleece blankets. Yeah, they do. And we are firing up, much against my husband's will, <laughs> the adventures of Ichabod. The original Headless Horseman cartoon from the 40s, so it's a very Halloween Eve for Halloween Eve. Happy Halloween! Feeling extremely festive, no surprise. <laughs> I've got my cute eyelash like stitch face t-shirt from the Bling Bling shop and just jeans and black fans and this matches my mug. So Nate said I have a mug for every occasion and he's right. <laughs> but happy Halloween, you guys. I'm excited it's finally here. It's like the crown jewel of fall. So all the more festive today and keep the party going, I guess. I can't wait to just finish what I have to do and work stuff so that we can go celebrate. Um, we're taking the dogs trick or treating because I am that level of extra dog mom and proud of it. <laughs> so let's start the holiday, I'm so ready. All right, I'm making a little DIY element of the dog's costumes. They're very interested in what the heck I'm doing. What am I doing? But I had this length of rose garland, like a decorative craft rose, and I thought this would be so perfect to add to their leashes so that as we're walking them around, it is like a part of their costume and it fits in with the whole theme. All right, who's ready for a dramatic doggy Halloween costume reveal? Ready, Lo? <gasps> it's Beauty and the Beast. Lo, show them your beauty. beauty. <laughs> sit, sit, come on, let's display this properly. You look so beautiful. <laughs> and this is the most handsome little beast I've ever did see. He's so miserable, but he's so cute. <laughs> I usually um, don't torture my dogs like this, but one day a year, I like to put on a little costume. So this year they are Beauty and the Beast. Oh, look at them. <laughs> well, Lita's totally fine. She enjoys clothes, but DC, bless his little heart, is so not happy. But I'm hoping that he'll make an exception to make his mother happy and wear this little outfit for tonight because we're going to take them. We're going to take you somewhere special where people will appreciate your amazing outfits. Do you know where that might be? <laughs> oh, I'm just dying over how cute they are. Can you show the back? It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. He's got the little coattails. It really looks like he looks like the beast. He is the beast. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. Oh, 
My heart. <laughs> we just have to teach him that he can move. So we are skipping out for our Halloween festivities and we're taking the dogs to Disney. I'm very excited. Obviously they can't go into the theme park, but there's a whole downtown Disney area that's like outside of the theme park. It has like shops and it's free to enter. But I just thought it'd be so fun. They love to like get new sights and sounds and smells. Do you hear her tail wagging? Cause Nate's coming up. She's like drumming with her tail. Hi, honey. Hey. Hey. You should hear Lolita drumming her tail for you. Aw. Hi. We have our Hello. matching shirts that say <laughs> his beauty and her views. Somebody's breath is stinky. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is day two of matching shirts. Um, and I think we might as well acknowledge right now, cue all of the comments. Nate's such a trooper. Uh, and these dogs are such troopers. And I am lucky because you guys are all taking care of my little whims. But yeah, I made these shirts for us. And they go with the dog's costumes. And they go with our love. Right, babe? This is her mouth. Whew. Okay, yeah. Love, yes. So anyway, wish us luck. We're taking the dogs into the fray of downtown Disney so everybody can appreciate their costumes in their natural element. So the dogs are going to have to go through security and everything. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully they've got no contraband. I think they're safe. Here's the... Totally nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What is it? Lolita. Lolita. Look at that. Lolita. <laughs> Good girl. Are your dogs beating in the pets? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, guys. We just got home. We had so much fun. I'm exhausted. The dogs are exhausted. We're all exhausted. Um, but it was really, really fun and the dogs were so good. I felt very grateful that my little family put up with me <laughs> wanting to do that, but it was amazing. Um, the only really huge disappointment was I didn't realize dogs aren't even allowed in downtown Disney. I thought they could be anywhere but in the actual theme park, but no. So we only basically just walked from the Disney parking garage to the entrance of the Disney area and then back. But that was more than enough. Like everybody was stopping us on the walk and taking pictures. I don't know how much footage I got because it was a lot to juggle the dogs in their costumes. But hopefully you guys got to see a little bit of it. And I broke a nail by the way. That was another sadness. But all told it was well worth it because the leashes were a hit, the costumes were a huge hit, the dogs were being such angels. So good. They took like a million pictures with a million strangers and everything. So cozy Halloween night is about to begin with finally watching Hocus Pocus, which I have never seen. And Nate, have Neither. you seen it? Mm -hmm. Nate has never seen it. So we're going to finally see what all the fuss is about because this is definitely a Halloween classic. Hey there. Happy November 1st. I can't believe we are in November already. This week, this month, last month flew by. But anyway, I'm about to embark on another fall favorite so I thought I better bring you guys with me to Starbucks. I don't even know for sure if it's out yet but let's find out. Do you have the apple cider? Yep. Okay cool could I get a grande? Yeah. Um that's it. 395. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, I love apple cider and I get it like exactly one time a year. <laughs> Usually I would get it before we went to the pumpkin patch, um, but we didn't wind up having a chance to get it that day. So it's finally time. It's such a treat. I actually just got a tall. They're really, really sweet because they add caramel syrup, I think. Ooh, it's so good though. It's such a treat and it's like so cozy and it has been chilly by LA standards. It was like 50 degrees when I got up this morning, so 
<sighs> sweater weather, another day, another sweater, and I've got my annual apple cider coming to me, so I'm very happy. And it's Friday night, and life is good. So I'm going to get my little drink and then go about my Friday evening plans and probably check in with you guys tomorrow so that I can just be in the moment on a Friday night. But we have more fall activities in store. <laughs> and wow, it's November, that's crazy. So happy November, time for some cider. You always get this drink or what? No, this is like my once a year treat. Once a year <laughs> yeah. It tastes like apple pie. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh, the whole car it smells like apple caramel goodness. And it's so warm and cozy in my hands. It's a beautiful Saturday evening. We are about to head out to two parties. Well, one event and then a party. So I'm excited, but it's going to be kind of hectic getting across Hollywood for everything. But the first thing we're going to is like a script reading and then the second thing we're going to is like an after Halloween party. So I'm not too clear if we're supposed to have costumes. This Halloween was weird where it was like in the middle of the week. So some people had parties the weekend before, some people had parties the weekend after. So the party we're going to tonight is after. So I don't know if there's costumes, but I do have a very fall outfit. I've got my brown fedora that I've been loving and just this like green Henley style shirt. And I'm not showing this well, but there's like a wrap. This is from Amazon, it's a really pretty wrap. Let's go look in the mirror real quick. So this is the outfit, it's definitely not like a costume, but it is so fall festive, right? I think this wrap is gonna be a favorite for me all fall. And I've always enjoyed these like Henley style shirts and this fedora, but the wrap is just really pretty. Have a good night. Sorry for the extremely loud dishwasher that I have going right now. Not the best timing, but I'm doing a little holiday baking or fall baking because um, I love that, as you know, but my new method is I only bake like the day of or the day before we're going to see friends so that I can ship off the baked goods. So I get to enjoy making them and I get to enjoy sharing them. And I'm going to make pumpkin bread, something that is like a very cozy fall treat but it's not a recipe to be proud of because it truly has like two ingredients and one of them is cake mix and one of them is pumpkin. So it's kind of like a cheat recipe. It's obviously very much not healthy, but it does make for a really indulgent pumpkin cake. And I thought that'd be a nice thing to bring tomorrow when we meet up with people. So yeah, let's make pumpkin bread the guilty way. I have the cake mix here with the oil and eggs that it calls for. And I'm gonna blend this up until that is well combined, and then we get to add the good pumpkin y stuff. Here we have the cake batter with an entire can of organic pumpkin added, so that's gonna make it really moist and flavorful. I added a ton of cinnamon, and I'm gonna add a few shakes of pumpkin pie seasoning. And I just think the spicier, the better, obviously, to a certain extent. But yeah, so now I'm going to blend all of this up and it's going to be ready to bake already. I had kind of a weird amount of batter. Like, I probably could have done just one loaf pan. But I'm always nervous about overfilling my loaf pans because it rises so much. So I did two. Might turn out to be like little half loaves. I'm not sure. But that could be kind of cool for sharing it anyway. So... Gonna pop these babies in the oven and see how they do. Mm -hmm. So I just pulled these out of the oven. I think they look beautiful. And they passed the toothpick test. So I think they're all done. I'm just gonna let them cool. And I can't wait to taste this. Goodness. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, that is satisfying. Oh, that's a satisfying slice right there. <laughs> Greetings from the end of a very long, but great fall day. And I am just beat. It was a long work day. And we've been going nonstop lately. So I think it's time for one of my signature themed bath nights. <laughs>
I have always loved doing like a theme to my bath nights and somehow it just makes it feel more special. In a way, it makes it feel more like necessary. <laughs> like if I'm just gonna have a, ra a random bubble bath, I could kind of talk myself out of it. Like, oh, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, oh, look, I already assembled every pumpkin thing I own. I have to take this bath now. <laughs> so I kind of like force myself into self-care this way. And there's a whole section on it in my beauty guide ebook if you haven't read that yet. So the cozy vibes are just like off the charts right now. And I'm going to unplug and relax and enjoy our fabulous fall season. And I hope this inspires you to do something similar for yourself. Obviously you don't have to be this extra, <laughs> but I do encourage it. Um, but whatever, whatever it is, however small or big, you just, you have to treat yourself to a little like special me time, especially if you do want to savor the season like I do. So cheers. I also forgot to mention something so key. I have the perfect, well, really just the perfect movie, but the perfect fall movie queued up on my phone. Important PSA, you guys. You've Got Mail is currently free to watch on Amazon Prime, and I just, I love this movie so much, and it does serve some serious fall vibes. With Tom Hanks talking about school supplies, and it's just perfection. So I'm also gonna fire this up in here while I relax. Don't you love New York in the fall? Makes me want to buy school supplies. Oh. I'm almost ready. I would send you a bouquet of newly sharpened pencils if I knew your name and address. This beautiful pumpkin bath bomb from Etsy is going in. I hate to melt it because it's so pretty. But now my bath water will be orange, so it'll be all the more autumnal. <laughs> It's time to wrap all of this fall goodness up with a little DIY project. I think you remember when we got this and it's time to do something with it. So I'm really excited to try my hand at making a really big chunky blanket. Hopefully it works out. Um, I know how to knit and I know how to arm knit even, but it's been a long time. So I have a YouTube tutorial we'll be following. I'll put the link in the description. And hopefully we're gonna wind up with a cozy blanket. It might be ugly, but it will still be made with love. So let's give it a shot. And this is the tutorial I'm gonna be following. So I will post a link to that in the description. And let's see what happens here. what I've got a brand new blankie it is so soft knitting this was such a pleasure because it just felt like I was knitting a cloud like this cushiony yarn is just oh it's so so nice that said I struggled a bit <laughs> it's not perfect it's not very even um but I think it's pretty and it's like very chunky, you know, very cozy blanket, which is really my only goal. And I, I made it really like not very wide. See, it's like, I don't know if you'd call it like a lap blanket or a foot blanket or something, but I just wanted it for the foot of our bed. So it could literally like warm our feet and be cozy that way. Um, so I don't know. I was thinking if I can't handle the imperfections in this one, I'll give it to the dogs for a Christmas present. Actually, the thought of knitting the dogs a blanket like warmed my heart. <laughs> so 
I know they would love this because it's so, so soft. I'm just gonna cuddle, <laughs> get all cozy in this because it was so nice to knit and it was like warming my lap as I was knitting and I was just watching the Hallmark Channel the whole time. It took me maybe two hours and I only used two skeins of the yarn. So I have enough left over to make maybe one small blanket each for the dogs. And I might get more yarn and try and get better at this and make bigger blankets and I could do them as gifts, so all sorts of options. But this is my beautiful soft pillowy gray blanket to go in here. And I love it. This really is so comfy and delicious. Oh my gosh. I love my new blankie. And I think that's such a cool thing about knitting is it's just like creating something out of thin air. Like a few hours ago, this blanket just did not exist. And now it's keeping me all warm. <laughs> I just find that so cool. Um, it is time to wrap up this vlog. I'm sure it was a long one, but I really hope you guys enjoyed kind of savoring the season with me and just slowing down to do some very fall flavored things. And I think it is really special to try to enjoy whatever season of life we might be in, whether it's a physical season of the planet <laughs> or emotional or whatever's just going on. Um, so yeah, let's try to all slow down and savor things more. I know I struggle with that and I really hope you enjoyed coming with me on this whole journey and I do really hope, truly hope, it could have possibly inspired you to just pamper yourself a little bit, take a little bit of me time. I know it's so hard, we all have so much going on, but you really deserve that good cozy feeling this fall and always. And I just love you guys so much. Thank you for all your amazing comments. I will say hi down below. I would love it if you'd hit subscribe and join our little gang. I would love it if you would hit me up on Instagram and follow me there so that we can all just hang out and get to know each other more. And whew, I think that's it. I'm gonna go cuddle. This blanket is lulling me to sleep. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.